The new version of Axie Infinity called Axie Infinity Origin was just released last week. I will give you my first impressions and the basics of the new gameplay in this video. If you wanna make more extra SLP playing the future version of Axie Infinity Origin, subscribe for more updates. First now everyone gets 3 free axes where he can start playing the game, but I'll skip the starter axes as they won't bring any SLP as far as they are not considered NFTs. I'll go on to energy, surely the key to win in Axie Infinity is energy management. We used to have 0, 1 and 2 energy cards, now we also have X energy cards, meaning depending on the number of hits it can take you. 1 to 3 energy. At each round we have 3 extra energy unlike the 2 we had before for every next round after the first. But here comes the bigger difference. The energy isn't accumulating as before. This means players are highly encouraged playing their cards in each turn and not skipping anymore. The next important difference in origin the cards are either defensive adding shield to your axis or offensive, dealing damage to your opponent. Dealing both at the same time is not possible anymore. Additionally, in Origin we have the third option in green, healing points by each card. Now this is my team that I use playing Axe Infinity version 2. I'll start with the buffs. You see on my plant it has a bubble, blocking 5 damage per attack and stakeable up to 3. If your Axie gets hit 3 times in a single round, it turns into a bubble bomb, dealing 20 damage to all enemies which is massive, as the Axies have around 320 max HP now. The bubble is summoned by the bubble maker card of my Aqua and is perfectly combined with your front tank Axie. I'll go on with my Aqua Axie. We don't have the health, speed, morale and skill points anymore. All we have is potential points used for equipment of charms, which will be kind of upgrades on the cards of your axes. The maximum potential points an axe can have is 15 for each class, which I indeed have on my aqua. Each and every class has its own charm points and those can be rare, epic or mystic. The next interesting card I have is clear. This gives you the opportunity to shuffle the cards in your current round. Unlike the Battle V2, now we have just one of each card in our hand, not two. And at the end of each round the cards are gone, being replaced with new ones. Unless you have this option on your card, Retain. I have this on my Tiny Dino in the Reptile. This card stays in your hand and even more. It gets stronger with each round you don't use it for 4 maximum turns, meaning that if you keep that card for 4 turns in your hand without playing it, it will double the initial damage it has. Kind of similar to the old version of Tiny Dino, where you used to get 150% damage after round 4. And to be even more interesting, the damage you have reached so far is accumulating, even if you've played the card. For example, here I used my Tiny Dino when it was at 75 damage and 2 rounds later I drew it again with 75 and not with the initial 60 damage. But unlike the version 2 of the battle, now when you are stunned your card doesn't get any additional damage. The shrimp card on my aqua is also dealing a backdoor damage if played first, but unlike the old version the shrimp card deals a massive 60 damage, making it a very good choice in my opinion. For comparison, Oranda deals 120 damage but takes 2 energy. Another interesting point is that you can now use your Pumpkin or Scaly Spoon or any other defensive card effect on any of your axes. This was just the first video dedicated to Axie Infinity Origin. There will be more to come in this series, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you again.